Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So if you're new to my channel then consider subscribing make sure to hit the like button and to leave a comment down below okay this is going to be a love reading focus on your zodiac sign of cancer for the month of september 2019 Okay, so the first energy I have is focused on obsession. It's focused on trying to keep something or someone close to you, okay? Now, this could be reflecting the energy of the individual you're dealing with or your energy, but what I feel like is someone is either watching you very closely or, you know, not wanting to let go of whatever this connection could be between the two of you. So something very powerful is happening in the background and I feel like this obsessive energy is the type that can be a little bit smothering at times, okay? This is the type of energy that wants what it wants and will not settle. This is the type of energy that likes to, you know, keep people or things close to them and not let go of either power, control or whatever safety net they put in place. You know, they don't want to really shake the boat. They want to keep things as it is. Now, the next tarot card I get is that there's an absence of emotion or perhaps someone is not as emotionally connected to the situation as you would like or as they would like and I feel like there's a blockage that is happening here it's it's almost as if someone is holding in emotions and keeping it to themselves you could be involved with a person that doesn't want to demonstrate or illustrate their love for you. You could be involved with an individual that has been keeping their mouth closed about the feelings they have for you. It could be a range of things that could be going on at this point of time. Now I feel like there's a desire to move forward, there's a desire to go on in the situation, to try to fix things, to repair things and to sort of plant a seed in the ground and to find your way back to one another. This could be indicating a new beginning, it could be indicating an opportunity, a chance or something of some nature that may or may not lead to commitment. It is at its very infant stage, so you can't really assume anything with it. It's a spark, it's something that can lead into something more, the potential is unlimited, depends on how the two individuals, yourself and the individual concerned, reacts to the opportunity presented, okay? Now the next card is showing to me that communication could be blocked or someone's affection, someone's romantic side is not coming to the forefront. It's not having an opportunity to be explored. It's not having an opportunity to be expressed. So indeed, someone is holding back emotion. Someone is not giving the other individual the impression of what they feel in their heart. There could be fears, there could be insecurities, there could have been difficulties that resulted in this sort of situation. But whatever it was, I feel like it left the two of you at a very helpless position. It left the two of you questioning feelings for the other individual. So you could be dealing with a person that cares very deeply for you and they're not having an opportunity to let you know they're not having an opportunity to express it for some of you this could be a secret admirer it could be someone that loves and cares about you deeply and that would indicate the obsessive energy now this could be an ex it could be someone that uh, you know you've just met and have no idea they have feelings for you you know the possibilities are quite unlimited but i do feel like you are loved and someone is obsessing over you the card in the past is indicating a trapped energy, an energy that puts, you know, 
mental strain and burdens on one's soul and it emanates from a place of not being able to break free from a cage or from a certain set of circumstances that are restricting and limiting and preventing movements and even though the individual is free to go forth and make changes they have to look at you know the cage that they're in first before they can actually leave and that tells you so very much about this individual. They're very much concerned about how other individuals will perceive them if they were to make a move. Maybe you're married to somebody else and you're the, you know, caged bird in this situation. The possibilities are there. And uh, this individual has been watching you for some time and wanting to be in a relationship with you. If you're not married, you might have been in relationships with other people and they may have been seeing you suffer and seeing you sad and seeing you unhappy and seeing that you were not at a place in which you should have been and they could have been watching you very closely. I see that there's going to be a possibility of coming together but it could be a sexual encounter for some of you it could be one you know that has the potential for commitment but starts off as an affair or starts off as a relationship that's very lusty in nature that's very fueled by uh, the desire for another human so that could be one of the things that pushes the two of you together you know you might feel frustrated with your situation they might feel frustrated they come over one day and things happen you know so that's the possibility there I see that this individual is thinking about you thinking a lot about you they really do want to take a chance they want to try they want to explore they want to see the possibilities of what might happen so right now this individual is going through it inside of their head they're going back and forth trying to figure things out trying to establish is it a good idea are you going to react positively you know what is your behavior going to be in regard to that action that conversation you know that's what's happening right now the next card I'm looking at is indicating that this individual sees themselves as having peace of mind if they were in a relationship with you. So they do have a very high regard for you, a lot of respect for you. And this individual sees you as potential relationship material. So you're either dealing with someone that cares very deeply for you or you're dealing with someone that really wants to be in a romantic relationship with you okay and that's a very exciting thing because for some of you if you give this person a chance it could lead to your happily ever after it could lead towards something that you've been looking for for a very long time but i feel like it'll come from the person you least expect it or it'll come from a time period in which you don't really think that this individual will reach out or make an attempt or that they are being genuine so you'll feel like you know as if you need to question whether they have that intention of saving you or coming into your life and making things right so i hope you enjoyed your tarot card reading okay i know that i usually do extend it right and they provide a lot more information but right now my schedule is very very busy so do pay attention to when they come uh, you know become available if you want a personal reading you can get it at the tarotempress.com make sure to subscribe have a wonderful day and take care